This is Cosmic Calendar. So what is Cosmic Calendar? Imagine compressing the entire 13.8 billion year history of the universe into a single calendar year. That means January to December. Is that possible? Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Hidden Rees. In 1977, astronomer and author Carl Sagan offered us the concept of a cosmic calendar in his book, The Dragons of Eden, and on the television series, Cosmos, which he hosted. It's a thought experiment in which you take the entire history of the universe, from the Big Bang until now, and represent it as calendar year. And it makes people to easily understanding our history of cosmos. On the calendar, one month represents about 1.1 billion years, one day equals 38 million years, and in one brief second, 438 years fly by. According to this calendar, our journey begins in January, the new year, exactly 12 am where the universe bursts into existence with the Big Bang. In a fraction of a second, all matter and energy in the universe are concentrated into an incredibly hot and dense point. Then, with a tremendous release of energy, the universe rapidly expands and sets in motion the grand cosmic symphony we know today. Fast forwarding to January 14th. Just two weeks after the Big Bang, a remarkable event takes place, the formation of the very first stars in the universe. As the universe continues to expand and cool, pockets of dense gas begin to collapse under the force of gravity. These first stars, often called population 3 stars, are much larger and more massive than the stars we see today. They contain primarily hydrogen and helium, the two main elements forged during the Big Bang. The formation of the first stars is a crucial milestone in cosmic history. These luminous giants played a vital role in shaping the evolution of the universe. Through their intense radiation and supernova explosions, they triggered the formation of heavier elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, which are essential building blocks for future generations of stars, planets, and even life itself. And now, just a few weeks later, on January 22nd, another significant milestone occurs, the formation of the first galaxies. As the universe continues to expand and evolve, regions with higher concentrations of matter begin to take shape. Over time, these collections of stars, gas, and dust transform into the majestic structures we know as galaxies. Massive clouds of gas collapse under gravity's pull, giving birth to swirling spiral galaxies or elliptical galaxies with their unique shapes and characteristics. Within these halos, gas and dust accumulate, gradually condensing to form stars, stellar clusters, and even supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. Finally, on March 15, we witness the remarkable event of the formation of our very own Milky Way galaxy. Within the vast cosmic expanse, a gravitational dance unfolds, drawing together a multitude of stars, gas, and dust. The formation of the Milky Way holds immense significance for us, as it serves as our cosmic address, our home among the stars. It provides a stage for the evolution of life, the birth of civilizations, and the exploration of the mysteries of the universe. Now take the six months long nap. And now, on September 1st, close your eyes and envision a vast cloud of gas and dust floating in space, known as the Solar Nebula. It stretches across immense distances, waiting to give birth to the celestial wonders that will define our cosmic neighborhood. As gravity takes hold, the Solar Nebula begins to collapse, causing the material within to spin faster and flatten into a rotating disk. At the center, a protostar forms, a fiery ball of gas that will become our Sun. Meanwhile, within the disk, tiny particles of dust and gas start to clump together, building larger and larger objects called planetesimals. These planetesimals, in turn, collide and merge, forming protoplanets, embryonic versions of the planets we know today. Eventually in this time, the Earth in its early stages of formation, a Mars-sized protoplanet, a planet that never survived long enough to gain full planetary status, crashed into Earth and forms Moon. The protoplanet, often called the impactor, was named Thea, after the Greek goddess of sight and heavenly light. Over millions of years, the protoplanets continue to grow through accretion, sweeping up more material in their paths. Eventually, the planets we recognize, such as Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and the rest our solar system's family, are born. The Earth started cool down over the years. On September 21st, 
We symbolically mark the formation of the first life on Earth. While the precise date of this event remains uncertain, scientists estimate that it occurred billions of years ago, in the primordial oceans of our young planet. Envision Earth in its early stages, a world teeming with primordial seas, volcanic activity, and an atmosphere rich in gases. In this dynamic environment, the building blocks of life gradually assemble. Through a series of complex chemical reactions, simple organic molecules begin to emerge. Energy from lightning, volcanic eruptions, and the sun's radiation catalyzes the formation of more complex compounds. Over time, these organic molecules assemble into more intricate structures, such as amino acids and nucleotides, the essential building blocks of proteins and DNA. Within the primordial oceans, the first life forms arise. These microscopic, single-celled organisms, known as prokaryotes, mark the advent of life on Earth. Even though these are the microscopic organisms, it makes the greatest impact on our Earth, mainly it takes our Earth atmosphere carbon dioxide as food, and release the oxygen to our atmosphere, and it forms one layer, none other than, ozone layer, it prevents the Earth from harmful radiation, it happened till October 20th. In December 5th, the multicellular life existed. Through intricate processes of genetic innovation, cooperative interactions, and selective pressures, single-celled organisms began to join forces, forming complex communities of cells. In December 7, through a process of gradual evolution and genetic diversification, simple animals began to evolve from their single-celled and colonial ancestors. These early animals possessed basic body structures, such as soft tissues and rudimentary sensory organs, allowing them to navigate and interact with their environment. During this period, we see the emergence of various simple animal forms, including early worms, sponges, jellyfish, and other marine invertebrates. These organisms marked a significant step forward in the complexity and diversity of life on Earth. The further evolution process undergoes for the formation of fish and proto-amphibians. In December 17, fish, the first vertebrates, began to evolve during this period. These aquatic creatures possessed key traits such as a backbone, fins, and gills, enabling them to swim and navigate through water. The Devonian period, often referred to as the Age of Fishes, witnessed the rise of diverse fish species, including jawed fish, armored fish, and lobe fin fish. It was within this time frame that proto-amphibians, the ancestors of modern amphibians, emerged. In December 20, plants begin to colonize surface of Earth. Plants represent a diverse group of organisms that possess the remarkable ability to harness sunlight through a process called photosynthesis. This unique capability allows them to convert solar energy into chemical energy, providing the foundation for entire food chains and supporting numerous life forms. Imagine an ancient world, lush with diverse ecosystems, where life has primarily thrived in water. But on December 22, a monumental transition takes place, a giant leap from water to land. It's as the remarkable event in history of our Earth. Amphibians were the first vertebrates to venture onto land, equipped with adaptations such as lungs for breathing air and limbs for locomotion. They became the bridge between aquatic and terrestrial habitats, heralding a new era in the evolutionary history of life on Earth. Picture a world transitioning from a dominance of amphibians to a new group of creatures, reptiles. In December 23rd, these ancient reptilian ancestors conquered the land, adapting to diverse environments and shaping the future of terrestrial life. Over millions of years, reptiles evolved from their amphibian ancestors, acquiring essential adaptations such as scaly skin, more efficient lungs, and the ability to lay shelled eggs on land. Reptiles were well suited to a terrestrial lifestyle. They could regulate their body temperature, allowing them to thrive in a wider range of environments compared to their amphibian predecessors. This adaptability gave them a competitive edge in the struggle for survival. The evolution of reptiles paved the way for subsequent developments, including the emergence of dinosaurs. Yes. In December 25th, the dinosaurs' existence in the Earth's supercontinent Pangaea, in afternoon of December 25, the separation of Pangaea and the subsequent drifting of continents had profound implications for Earth's geology, climate, and this makes the dinosaurs becomes very diverse and various types of dinosaurs were evolved based on the place. During the Mesozoic era, dinosaurs roamed the Earth, showcasing an incredible diversity of sizes, shapes, and behaviors. From the towering long-necked sauropods to the fearsome carnivorous theropods, 
Dinosaurs captivate our imagination to this day. The world of dinosaurs included iconic species such as Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and Velociraptor. Each had unique characteristics and played a crucial role in shaping the ecosystems of their time. In December 26, during this time, early mammals, often small in size, roamed the Earth. They were characterized by unique features such as hair or fur, mammary glands to nourish their young, and a warm-blooded metabolism. Some examples of early mammals include small insect-eating creatures like Morganucodon, multituberculates that resembled rodents, and primitive forms of marsupials and placentals. In December 27, birds. The earliest known bird, Archaeopteryx, lived during the late Jurassic period. Archaeopteryx was a transitional species, displaying characteristics of both dinosaurs and birds. It had feathers and wings like modern birds, but it also had teeth and a long bony tail like dinosaurs. The evolution of birds from their dinosaur ancestors occurred gradually over millions of years through a process called avian evolution. This process involved the development of flight adaptations, such as the evolution of feathers, modifications in the skeletal structure to support flight, and changes in the respiratory and circulatory systems. The dinosaurs completely take all over the world, for five days, in cosmic calendar. But, it comes to an end, because of the major catastrophic event. Cretaceous extinction event when a meteorite hit Earth and decimated almost every form of life, about 66 million years ago, a asteroid about 10 kilometers wide now called the Chicxulub Impactor, slammed into Earth off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. The asteroid impact and its aftermath caused what has become known as the Cretaceous-Paleogene Mass Extinction Event, killing off three-quarters of species on Earth and leaving its signature scattered throughout the geological record. However, amidst the devastation, some organisms managed to survive. Small mammals, birds, reptiles, and various marine organisms paved the way for the subsequent evolution and diversification of life on Earth. The very next day in cosmic calendar. December 31st, the last day of the year. In 6 a.m. apes, including orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and bonobos, are found in various habitats, from the dense rainforests of Africa and Southeast Asia to the mountainous regions they call home. After undergoes various evolution, at 10.24 p.m. first humans were evolved, the journey of human evolution spans millions of years, gradually leading to the emergence of our species, Homo sapiens. At 11.44 p.m. for the exact moment humans gained control of fire, it is a pivotal milestone in our species history. The ability to control fire revolutionized human development. Now we reach the last 20 seconds of our cosmic calendar. The last 20 seconds includes the whole life and various achievements of mankind, including agriculture, voyages, pyramids, various civilization, the kings fought for the places, discovery of money, electricity, telecommunications, aeration, wars, accidents, scientific discoveries, humans on moon, sports, technology, and mainly this cosmic calendar. Now we living in the last second of this calendar. Advance Happy New Year. So what will happen in next year?